Here's a kacha recipe for you, Linder. It's made by me, Cole. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. First we start with bread flour, yeast, salt, olive oil. And then we have a bowl, a spoon, a measuring cup. I think it's half of a cup. Yeah, half a cup uh, measuring thing and uh, that thing and uh, that thing. Like two cups is good. You put eight cup of bread flour in the bowl. I lied actually, it's four cups, which is eight scoops of half cups. So four cups bread flour in the bowl. As you can see, it's uh, real fun. I think I remember to do eight. Whee! So yeah, four cups bread flour in the bowl. We're still going. This is great. I hope you're having a good day. Hello. All right, we're coming to the end of this. Okay. Uh. All right, next we put two tablespoons of the dry yeast. Yeast. Two teaspoons of salt. Tablespoon, sorry. Two tablespoons salt. There I am putting it in. Whoa, stir it up. Stir it up, up, up. Yee. Two cups. Nice, warm, lukewarmish water. Not too hot, not cold, lukewarm. Uh, you know, stir up the powder stuff some more. And then pour the water in. Just dump it in there. Wow! Stir it up. It's gonna be like a weird, mushy goopy so it doesn't need to be like wet wet but like it's gonna be pretty gross okay then you cover it up with some saran wrap or a towel whatever um this is out of order but you could also put olive oil on it before you cover it up it's up to you okay and then you let it sit for like two hours clean up no mess filthy disgusting do 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 wait about two hours um and then if you want to get ready get some parchment paper put it on a pan doesn't matter the size of the pan i think mine's like nine by twelve um dump the dough on the pan and honestly you can let it rise for like two hours like two hours minimum but you can leave it overnight and it's fine <laughs> And then you want to cover it up with plastic again or whatever. Just give it a few more hours to rise on like that. Get your toppings ready. So pepper, salt, garlic, and rosemary are what I usually use, but you use whatever. Now that you've let it rise a bit, you smush it. Smush it good. Preheat your oven to... What do I do? 400. <laughs> use more olive oil. Let it be drenched in olive oil. Yes. Careful now. Careful. Ah, lovely. Very good. Sprinkle on your stuff. You can put whatever, like I said. I think that was the pepper. Rosemary. Here's the garlic. Just throw it on there. Oh, well, that's the garlic I lied. Uh, oven is ready. So we're going to... Stick the bread in there. Wow. It looks so yummy. Oh, oh god, I look so greasy. Um, and then you're going to want to look at this. <laughs> I set the timer. Isn't that cute? Um, I set it for 25 minutes. Because that's you know, that's good. You could do a longer, 25 to 30 minutes is fine. And here it is, ready to come out. Please wear a glove. Of gloves are fine. But you take it out, you know, it smells really good. And there you have it. That's how you make kachi bread. And I love you. Bye.